Hello, welcome. Welcome to the gameplay stream and the tour. I hope you're doing well today. It's another beautiful day. Got the blinds closed today, though. We're in uh, gameplay mode today. So, with that out of the way, we don't have the usual list in front of me. So, <clears throat> just doing a quick sound check. I hope y'all can hear the game as well as me right now. Yo, yo. Gonzo, howdy. Can we get a sound check? Please, my good man. A little quiet. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, we are turned down just a wee bit. How's this? A little bit better? And how is the game level? Uh, the music is, like, very... <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Sophia. Appreciate it. Welcome. Good day. I'm glad you're both here. <clears throat> so, game, music... Me sounding okay. We will get ready to proceed. So, just a really quick look. I've got um, up on the screen just some system specs of mine. Uh, my machine, Dagathor. Whoops, that's the wrong terminal. Uh, yeah, Dagathor, Void Linux. Uh, important bits here for those of you who don't care about anything else. This was my processor. And this will be my graphics card, and that'll be my system RAM amount. Um, okay, thank you, Sophia. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Gonzo as well. Game is drowning me out a tiny bit. Yeah, this music is very epic, huh? I hope this is still... <clears throat> I dropped it. A I dropped the uh, game volume a little bit. Um, I hope you can still hear it all right, and uh, you know we'll see as the music changes. Um, but yeah, so... Let's get this uh, Let's get this off the screen here. Boop. All right. And uh, so yeah. The plan uh, today is I've just spawn in my cheater character <clears throat> who's uh, uh, as you can see we're doing uh, UI modes by the way. Um, who, who's cheated up? I put uh, several skills at 80 just just to be really good at it you know um but like everything else is just the default you know so so i'm like pretty lousy at a lot of things but this has resulted in a rather speedy character who probably is pretty good in a fight um and i just for the sake of not being too cheaty right i've got the elton brand right here but for the sake of not being too cheaty um and yeah we're gonna go ahead and get rid of mango hood um cool thank you gonzo appreciate it glad we're looking good it's hard for me to see the chat so i've got for context i've got like the chat on my laptop uh, OBS is on my other screen, so now I'm looking at OBS and on the other screen. If somebody says something, I'll see it on the chat box there. Um, I hope at least. <laughs> uh, and then when I'm looking at the camera, it's like this. So it's kind of a weird hodgepodge setup. But okay, here we go. So um, back, so back to my character. Yeah, just a, uh, we'll call him Glass Joe, or whatever the guy from uh, Punch Out is. Um, but that's our character here. We got the glass armor player default name. Uh, no name even here. Yeah, if we don't have a name, it just doesn't... <laughs> I never noticed that. Um, and yeah, you know, we'll just boost up with the console as needed. I was going to have God Mode on, um, but I thought, you know what? It could be interesting because uh, I have disabled the Bethesda music. <laughs> Thank you, Gonzo. <laughs> I have disabled the Bethesda music, but we do have the Dynamic Sounds mod going on. Um, so we are going to have, like, all that stuff, and hopefully that won't cause a copyright hit with the copyright police. But um, the Bethesda music is gone right now so okay um yeah so i'm gonna put on this beautiful steel claymore that way we're like tough you know we're not too tough but we also got this just fabulous beautiful claymore here yabby jay yeah there we go <laughs> yay glass joe gabby jay that's us right now um all right so yeah um what do we got here we've got my version of basically 6.0, frozen, soft frozen, as it is right now. Um, with a couple other things, like you might have noticed my, uh, whoops, you might have noticed my UI mod here. I don't think this is going to end up on the final 6.0 list, just because there's a couple things about it um, that I got to sort out first. Um, mostly regarding playing it with a controller. Um, <laughs> Punch-Out Remake. Oh, man, I haven't actually played Punch-Out after SNES, so I have no exposure. Yeah. Ditto, Gonzo. All right. But, yeah, basically everything you see here is going to be, you know, 6.0 material. Um, just, yeah, probably not with the UI modes mod. I just want to use it because it looks cool. Man, honestly, I got to turn my music down a little bit. 
got like the speaker two feet away from my head. All right, and yeah, so we've got TR loaded, obviously. Not the very latest, um, just the, you know, the official release, but there is going to be that update coming out soon. So, um, but I do want to actually go there and like maybe start up here and, and look around. I did, had my rough plan was basically, I don't know, to just kind of walk up the coast. Um, definitely open to suggestions on where to go if you're following along at home. Uh, otherwise, yeah, we're, we're just gonna go. Oh, and another thing of note too, um, if you watched the stream yesterday, you know that I made the signpost travel mod, and you'll note here that we don't have a Pell signpost replacer because, uh, like, maybe within the last hour getting ready to stream, testing this out, it just didn't work, and I didn't really have time to debug why. So, uh, maybe it does something with the object names, I don't know, gotta look into it. So for now, we've got the non appel signposts, and we do have the fast travel because I wanted that. Okay, here we go. So, um, so I was definitely thinking about going this way as opposed to going this way, but there's definitely lots to see this way. So, uh, okay, okay, thank you, Altariel, and good day, welcome. I'm so glad you're here today. I won't start there then, see? Uh, please, lay it on me. Where should I start out in TR when I get there? Um, for now, ugh, I'm a little torn between west or east, or rather, uh, north or east. Ooh, okay. Had to tell, okay. Yeah, I agree, Sophia. Honestly, that is like one of just the flyest areas. So I think what you're telling me is we should head off in this direction. Because we're walking everywhere. That's the whole point of this. It's a tour. We're just having a good look at everything. Um, and again, I have like a, a reasonably speedy character here, but he's not like Superman going on here. Um, but we got a decent... Oh, oh, and one last thing I wanted to mention. We talked about, um, if you were on the stream yesterday, we talked about animation blending, and this is in fact uh, animation blending build. Let me just make sure that I have it enabled <laughs> while we're on here. Uh, I don't actually have it enabled. Hold up, we're going to reboot the game real quick here. That'll give us a chance to look at some really sexy uh, splash screens. So, Andothran, okay. Boat there from Ebonheart. Okay, okay, from both. Okay, thank you so much, Eltariel. We're going to go that route. I think we'll, what we'll do is we'll maybe signpost our way back south. Um, I don't know. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. So, here we go. Let's uh, Todd the game. And by that, I mean reboot it. I don't quite, we don't quite have the Lua mod yet that can reboot the game while it's running, but I think somebody should do that. That's like the ultimate vanilla immersion mod, in my opinion. All right. Now we have animation blending, and we can go. <laughs> so yeah, that is a work in progress feature. Um... What you see here may not reflect the final thing if and when it is merged into the master branch of OpenMW. Um, and we do have animation replacers going on here. So um, I would encourage you, if you try out animation blending, here we go. We're back. Ah, uh, you know it, Altariel. <laughs> Actually, we're working on that one, too. I've crashed the game a few times, have you noticed, if you've been on the stream before. Yo! Ah, there you go, Erm. Welcome. Thank you for joining, man. And yes, that is... <laughs> there we go. Uh, can you hear me? Oh, hey, ho. Can... Are we good? Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Erm. All right, so I guess we're off that. We're back uh, in the game. Animation blending is on. Um, I've mostly played animation blending with uh, vanilla animations. So this is gonna be kinda new for me too. So um, with that, let's turn off the mango hood and be off with Glass Joe here. So, okay, not been there, just showing off that there. And so, yeah, actually now that I think of it, the past couple of times we've done the, the playthroughs, we have gone that way. So this time we'll take Glass Joe that away. <laughs> I've mentioned this on a previous stream, but actually uh, somebody I worked with at a previous job who worked for Bethesda as a contractor on Morrowind, he said that they had internal jokes um, or that fans rather called Daggerfall Dagger Falling because falling through the floor was a feature. 
And I was gonna say, yeah, I swear I've seen that in Morrowind. Really beautiful landscape here, by the way. Just taking a moment to check it out. Yeah, so sorry about that, Erm. Oof. My potato graphics card. Uh, plus CPU encoding, sadly. Thank you, Altario. I agree. Um, that API doesn't exist yet. We have an async API, though, and that was one of Kartanov's objection to doing that feature years ago. Um, just can the save be written asynchronously is the question. I don't know. All right, let's pick up the pace. Oh, hey, friend. No combat music at all. That's fine, frankly. Uh, oh, I didn't equip my sword. Hold up. Yeah, take that. Yeah, I just love this. Uh, I'm going again. I'm going with the steel claymore just so we're not, you know, we are Glass Joe after all. But uh, we don't want to be too OP, and uh, and it's just beautiful. Nice work by Lysol. Okay, and we're back. And uh, just want to do that obligatory. Yay, look at me, I'm ground cover now. <laughs> Props to uh, everybody involved in that massive juice. Sophia, everybody, thank you. What do we got here? Okay, you're not going to rush me. That's good. Okay, got you. Thank you, Gonzo. Yeah, honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing. Wow, okay, so check it in front of us here. First stop on the tour, Vivek Archway, Gateway. What is this mod again, Gonzo? Yeah, okay. We're not digging that. Let me see what it's uh, like if we disable that. Frankly, not noticing a huge difference, so I'm going to leave it alone. Could honestly be a graphics driver's thing. Gates of Iscadia. Thank you, Altario. This is one of your suggestions. Fantastic. This is cool. And if we just go into first person, you'll know that, uh, this was a suggestion from Detail Devil. I don't think it's going to go on the list, but I just love the you know, reflecty gold. Alright. Hey, fellas. Just making our way through here, don't we? Ooh, yeah, this is honestly the first time I walked past here, you know. No, no, I think it's just reflections, honestly. Uh, I'll uh, point you to the, ex the precise mod later on, Gonzo, and you can check it out. I love the, man, I really love the brick here. How it's just like, oh yeah, the, here's the end of the road, you know. Um, cool aesthetic. Really cool aesthetic. Good morning, Sector. Welcome. It's OpenMW o'clock, don't you know? <laughs> yeah, just doing total overhaul tour. Um, and actually, I was just going to say, uh, I didn't explicitly mention it, but right now we got, um, in addition to uh, UI modes going on here, we've got uh, the Sky HUD mod, which is going to go into the Atawalpa. Hey! Welcome! I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for joining us. Um, and yeah, the Sky HUD going into the chat. <laughs> yeah, I know, Sector. I know. And I know you know. Okay, so yeah. Um, welcome, Atawalpa. I'm so glad you made it. Thanks, dude. Um, just doing the tour. Yeah, and uh, Sky HUD. And uh, there's another awesome HUD that is uh, Skyrim inspired, or I forget the exact name, but uh, it's by uh, another fellow who does the fatigue mod that we're throwing in, and uh, 
and it's great. Actually has quite a bit more options than this one. I personally like this one a little bit better for various reasons, but I just wanted to explicitly add it and make it an option. Yeah, these gates are really cool. Wow, we... Okay, so... The question now is, do we go into Vivek City? And I'm gonna say no, because we got, you know, we gotta get going. We're already 15 minutes in here. <laughs> we don't have a hard limit today too, right? It's Sunday, whatever. Simple UI, no, Sophia, uh, hold up. Now I gotta find out which one it is. I'll throw it in the chat. Um, Yeah, Simple HUD. Yeah, yeah, you're right, Sophie. I'm sorry, that's the name. Simple HUD for OpenMW with Compass or Minimap. Um, I don't know if you, I don't know if that's the exact one, but uh, let me put the link in there. Uh, but yeah, this one also very good. I thought, um, again, per my personal preference was to go with this one though, uh, just because had some things that I like, but the other one was so good. It's got to be listed as an alternative, you know, and let folks decide which one they like. They're super easy to switch between, so why not, right? You know, I already finished the pot. You guys are slackers. <laughs> I'm onto water at this point in my day. OAAB Brother Junipers Twin Lamps. Really looking forward to doing uh, some of the content on this one. Uh, and this is the... Uh... <laughs> Excuse me, I know there's a certain climbing mod, maybe, that might be happening. My personal favorite player home, the abandoned flat, that I have moved to be compatible with uh, Junipers. We gotta get over to Saran. Stat. I think we're just going to jump in the water. So yeah, how about this, um... How about these tunes? It's a departure. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's a bit of a departure. Sophia mentioned animation blending. She said, jump. So I'm just gonna do that a couple of times. So it's on video. Animation blended jump going on right here. Yeah, exactly. That's one of the ones that you noticed the most. But I also noticed uh, punching with your fist. Hold up, let me do that real quick. Punching with your fist, I don't know, just looked a bit smoother to me. And let's do that explicitly in third person here. Okay, very cool. Now, oh, you know what? We need to ask Todd for a water walking spell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, totally. I, pretty much out of nowhere. Um, if you've read the merge request, you'll know any old name chimed in that actually OSG has built-in support for animation blending. And in fact, OpenMW has supported animation blending with Colada file types, um, apparently, for since it's had Colada support. Um, but, I mean, that doesn't matter for Morrowind mods, really. What What is important is what <clears throat> our friend here, uh, who opened the MR, this hero... Oh, man, okay. We need to also ask Todd for some skill. Yikes. Uh, has added, so yeah. Uh, uh, add alteration? What's the matter with you? Don't try that at home. 80. Praise Todd. Alright. 
no progress. <laughs> We're just get, doing our Todd given ability to cheat. This is a tour, after all. Yeah, exactly. Morrowind Christmas. Completely. Can't wait for that mod on that note. Can't wait for the modathon. Okay, so I feel like it would be neglectful to just like you know skate past Saran. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna poorly climb up here. Wait, no, 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 over here. Come on, John. By the way, like that undersea ground cover, huh? Thank you, Sector. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's get that. Uh. This is very tempting to equip, too, because it's a beautiful weapon. And we have a mod expli explicitly to replace this one. Look at that. Alright. Do I have blunt weapon skill at all, though? I don't think so. No, no. Time to get good. Yeah, I know, right? And if you never did this quest, you gotta be like, you know... You gotta be buds with Ajira to even know about this thing. Yeah, just, uh, you know. My girl Ajira is the hookup. What can I say? No spoilers. Alright, now here we go. I love this city. And just... Man, I gotta say, this view... Not bad. I gotta say. Wrong spot to actually get there, though. Sure, yeah, we'll do. Thank you, Altari. We're gonna walk right past it on our way out of town, so, uh. Yeah. And I just wanna mention, too, uh. Yeah, a medieval. Oh man, love that one, Erm. That is a great one. Okay, thank you for bringing that up. Actually, Herdrax and I had discussed that previously, and we were not 100% sure. Um, and we were going to go through the quest testing phase. That's certainly one of the things I wanted to make sure we nailed down. Thank you for bringing that up. Oh, man, I got to reinstall Medieval. So, so good. No, I don't have VR yet. Wife and I were debate, definitely debating on getting a, a kit. Why do you outlanders think you can... Oh, man, I wish a Medieval had multiplayer. All right, so here we go. First off, right out the bat, we get into town. Not even in the gate. And uh, check the planters. Totally beautiful. We are losing some frames, but whatever. It's whatever. So much talk. Who are you? We got the slowed Am slavers. I, to care? Um, I don't care if you are the living god. No comment on that. Yes. Okay, Altariel, thank you. Actually, my setup is doing that. So maybe I've already resolved the issue. Hey, Ferris, welcome. Good day. Thank you for joining. We just got to the most important part of the game, which is uh, the House of Earthly Delights. So you're just in time. <laughs> uh, man, look at the planters everywhere, though. Just looking good, I think. Looking real good. This guy thinks he's Red the Mountain Marine. spreads ash and blight. Sinners gather at the house. Do you need a the time of the incarnate master? is at hand. So yeah, uh, first off, you might notice... Uh, Django, Von Django's quest voice dialogue has recently had a huge update that includes a bunch of Dunmer voices and all about kinds of crazy stuff, so take note. Red Mountain spreads ash. All right, I'm reinstalling a medieval arm. That's how you convinced me. All right, uh, obligatory venture into the House of Earthly Delights, the most important cell in the game, arguably. Oh my, okay, well, Welcome accidental house, boobies friend. there on the Khajiit. And uh, the Random Dancers mod by my good friend, Ezzy. Props to Ezzy on that. I feel like that was definitely something the game always needed. They rotate out on a schedule, too, so you can come back next week and see, uh, you know, next week's group. <laughs> I actually forget how often they rotate, but uh, it might even be daily. Um, okay. This guy. Wait, no, this guy. <laughs> right. The, this guy's supposed to tell me how much he loves this place. Isn't this place great? <laughs> he does, normally. All right, moving on. We're not going to spend too much time in the, in the happy house. Servant, no, lady, I'm good. <laughs> All right, let's just take a moment and appreciate this view. <laughs> you know, that's right. It's an important part of the lore. 
Oh man, we totally walked on the rope bridge and I didn't notice the new rope bridge. <laughs> yeah. It's not my first stop anytime I play the game, ever. Alright. Just want to go through here slow, but we'll uh, not forget to check out the temple. Every time I walk past this NPC, I just remember, like, experimenting with armor mods and she had no body one time. I know, right? Sophia? Totally. Just really, like... What can I say? Alright, let's get into this temple. I'm actually dying to know now. Whoa, whoa, excuse me. I'm listening. Yeah, pardon Go me. Ahead. You're moving out of the way. Alright. Glowing uh, shrine. Very interesting uh, effect here. Yeah. Alright, so uh, Eltariel. To me, everything looks like it's on. Um, yeah, very good candlelight, agreed. You know what? Blasphemy. Todd approves. Yeah, agreed, Smalio. Just the candlelight, um, you know, and that's that's our friend Hamaris um, with the better lights for all, improved lights for all shaders. Can't tell if the walls are, are white. Okay, they are white. They do look white. Check it. So let's do this. Let's call upon the powers of Todd again. So, yeah, here we go. So it's pulling from... You do have to... Um, as you can see, you do got to pull in MD's files from the core mod. But it seems to work. Before I did this, there were definitely purple things that could be seen from the exterior. So I hope I solved it. I think I did know. Okay, let's put this in the corner here. Cat's out of the bag. Big terminal mode. Um, yeah, if I didn't have just a cheater character, I would cast light in here and we could look too. But it is, it is, totally, check it. There we go. This may be incorrect, I don't know. Oh, MD, yeah, no, it's right. White Saran, yeah. Temple Master White Saran 2 patch. So, I think we're, uh, a Quake-like drop, drop down terminal. Yeah. Awesome, good call out, El Tariel, thank you. And uh, this was an open issue for 6.0, so it's tentatively thumbs up. Gotta actually play the whole quest, though, and see what happens. All right, I'm dropping the light back down. Ah, very moody. And yeah, just a quick note too, if you're not aware, this would be Waza Light Fixes in action, and I do use a non-default config for that, because I like things a bit darker. Also, I don't hate the flicker, and Waza will uh, disable the flicker globally by default. So if you hate the flicker, there you go. And hopefully we'll have a Lua version of that. So you don't need to do uh, plug-in shenanigans. Go ahead. Right? Okay, so it's been a lovely stay, um, but I think we gotta... Can you tone down the flicker? No, I think that is hard-coded in the engine. I'm waiting. There was a specific effort I'm to listening. make that accurate with vanilla, Seriously, actually. In uh, geez, get some clothes on. Yeah, yeah, so eventually that'll be exposed, I think, but I think that's hard. at present it's hard-coded in the engine. Capo worked really hard to make that uh, accurate. Wow, just look at those clouds. And props to Sophia for the Blue Sky edit of Skies 4. We will be releasing that soon. So everybody can experience the glory of the beautiful blue skies and the volumetric clouds. Ooh, there we go. Come on, you can do it. My potato GPU is like, eh, hold on. It's totally not a potato, by the way. But I know, it's so good. Having just 
the volumetric clouds by Zesterer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Will do. I am sorry for being neglectful and taking so long. Whoa, look at that in the di Hold up, you gotta look at that in the distance. That's awesome. Salad stutter. Yeah, that's my, I don't know. It's it's a few things. Erm, I think water shader is an impact. Um, I definitely pre-compiled the nap mesh DB before I went live. So that's all fresh. Um, yeah, we got that floating, uh, whoops, object paging thingy over there. It's a feature. Yeah, that's a, that's a building from uh, Billy Fighter mod. That's exactly what I was pointing out. Um, yeah, exactly. That's an object paging bug, uh, you know. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Well, you don't get to see underneath this guy often. It looks really detailed. Sorry, buddy. So, I don't know, it's like a normals on the terrain there. Also looking pretty good. I dig it. Um, yeah, Erm, we're going to get to that building shortly. We're walking over there. It's, uh, I believe, from Billy Fighter's Mud Crab Imports mod, which is a 6.0 candidate. I think we're going to go with it. I'm not going to go inside, but we're going to walk through the premises. Uh, this one. No? Right, we got to go this way. All right. You're not playing Morrowind if you don't walk on a hill, am I right? You're just not even playing the game right. Here we go. My heroic acrobatics ability. Ooh. We need to ask Todd. Todd, please. Set restoration. Oop. Don't try that now. <laughs> Oof, okay, quick look at the ground there. Yeah, okay. So that that's what we were seeing though, right there. Um something to do. I don't remember the details, but if you look at the in the distance at Old Ebonheart, for example, or even Vanilla Morrowind Ebonheart, anything with like a tall tower like that, it's going to be off. Um, oh. Uh, wait, which one, Sophia? This one? There's a bit of a delay. I'm not sure which sound effect. Um, this place looks pretty cool. Oh, the, this... Like the crunch when you land. Mm -hmm, yeah. I don't know what you would replace that with. Somebody going, ow, really loud. <laughs> we can get Todd himself to record himself falling off a bike. Crab buddy. Another mud crab buddy. Let's pick up the pace. Ooh, but we're walking past some beautiful landscape here. There are some of the, I will say though, there are some of the, um, like the squealing <laughs> sounds that play for some of the actors that are just like. Yeah, we're 
CUM 3.0 Molegmar Just epic We're about to stroll through I am going to take a detour Come here, friend I'm going to take a detour there What is the... There's a Restore Fatigue spell, if anybody can remember the name. I need to cheat it to myself. I don't think I have any potions. No bother. Wouldn't be Morrowind if I wasn't low on fatigue at some point. Stamina. <laughs> Forget tomorrow. If you are right. Okay. Okay. I just can't help it. Sorry. Yeah, so here we go. We got a couple things going on here. We got the airship up there. Oh! Oh! Sorry, I'm derping. Thank you, Altario. Coming through. Got a couple things going on here. We've got the airship. Um, the slowed airship. We've got the ruined Molagmar in BCUM 3.0. Just looking good. Crazy good. I just gotta look outside. Oh, look at this floor. Today. Hey, speak traveler. Let's check out this boat. Oh, beautiful. That's a really neat looking boat. ourselves one more spell. And hoping we'll kill ourselves. Because we're going to jump off the top of this thing. This is not just a total overhaul tour. It's a parkour event. No slow fall. We're doing it Tar Heel style. Here we go. <laughs> I knew we'd pick I 
I know, if only we could climb. Typical Bethesda game fashion, although in the later games I find that NPCs walk in front a lot more. Uh -huh. Alright. So, I think actually instead of going north here, we're going to go around the coast a little bit. Maybe even like this away. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, the AI uh, interface needs to have a walk in front of the player method. And my endurance is just too low. Circles on the map. Um, oh, those are, that's just, um, there is actually an MW script command. I forget what it is off the top of my head. Um, but you can, like, add a point of interest on the map. Um, what is new is 0.48 is zooming and with the zoom comes you know consolidation of circles and uh so if we had vivac here it would be like actually a big one big circle relative to this one you know kind of a thing so i think that's what you're talking about <sighs> moving on we're going this way let's go just jogging in the rain squares for you huh oh you know what that might be um I'm using Chaco UI. That might be a Chaco UI thing. My bad, I didn't know you were talking about the circles versus squares. Yeah, Chaco UI. I'm not even mad that there isn't a battle music. I don't need a chorus when a worm attacks me. Really. Uh-oh. Hold on. Did you see it? Right, you saw it, Sophia, this thingy right here. Wait, wait, is it a triangle? Or is it just some sulfur and I'm getting... Actually, that might just be sulfur. We gotta get a good look once these things leave me alone. Wait, oh, here we go. Check it. But it's like the si virtually the same color, almost. Pretty good. Okay. Well played. Yeah. Minerals. Not errors. Okay. We're going to have to do some... Uh... Yeah, right? Looking good. Now that I know what it is, actually. Let me just do this. Yeah, totally. It's got a lot more spice. Pops. A bit more. Ooh, you know what? We're going to walk past Shrine of Azura. And there is a new one suggested by Altariel that I just added. Nice. That's exciting. Very exciting. Ooh, yeah. Look at the lightning on the lightning rods. Good stuff. I just love it. I can never get enough of that, honestly. Never. Ever. Just never gets old. Okay. Where 
the heck are we? Oh, okay, we do gotta kinda. Alright. But I did wanna. Hold up, hold up. Shrine of Azura. favorite sword named after a basketball player. Sure, right? They're just collecting energy. Wow. So this is actually my first time walking in here since installing this one. We've got a couple of things going on. You'll note the music changed. That's our dynamic, you know, music from the dynamic sounds mod. Props. Uh, and we got, yeah, the new from Vegito, I believe, or... Random Pal, um, Shrine of Azura Overhaul, look and fly. Speak, Traveler. Nice. Always love Daedric stuff from the first time I played Borrowind. Love that, wow. Ceiling busted open. Very cool. Could almost do with some like light shaft things, but I'm fine without it actually. Man, that's a nice touch. Okay. Wouldn't be a visit to Daedric Ruins if we didn't just marvel at this. This music is really good, I agreed. The Daedric tune pack, really good. Uh, this tune, really good. Okay, wait. Where'd the fact go? Alright. Duo Dynamico, thank you, that's what I was thinking of, Ferris, appreciate it. <laughs> Yeah, that's fantastic. That's a, in my opinion, no-brainer. All right, let's get out of here. Let's check them in. All right. So, we want to make it to Voss and tell more. So, let's get there. Ooh, yeah, so this is the, haha, <laughs> so nice. That's the, the vent we were looking up from inside. Nice little consistency there. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. Thank you, Altario. Oh, hey, friend. Forgot I have God. That's right. We're on a tour here, can't you see? Yes, I have the stop turned up too high. I know. Yeah, right? The blending is just all over the place. Makes things a little bit more sweet. Just walking off into the rainy sunshine. Not bad. I 
actually going... gonna do some hill walking. And whoa, hold up. Now that we have we have God mode on, I can be a little bit more fearless about this. Ooh. Love the pavements. Looking good. HD OAAB with normal maps. Looking pretty amazing. Nice, awesome. Thank you, Gonzo. Appreciate that. Um, we're going to have to do the Pepsi challenge later on tonight. Hey, friendo. Hop Toad plus the air boost from Sova's. Awesome. Hey, Santa. Welcome, man. Glad you're here. Hope you're having a great day. We're playing the game. Hop Toad plus air boost is pretty epic. on fire looking pretty good though. Cool. No, 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 no. They murdered me. <laughs> no, no, no. They attack me. They're savages. Okay. We're going to make a pit stop in everybody's favorite uh, Eastern Vanilla Content City. TR music fits here for Explore Music, in my opinion, really well. Since the police are going to get us for using the actual game music. Oh, here we go. Lighted Cliff Racer. Look at that guy. Woof. Nasty. <laughs> we need, like, a zombie apocalypse, maybe. Hey, Koyando, welcome. Thank you for being here. Mod list. Oh, crap. Uh, quick, somebody link to the 6.0 <laughs> issue. Oh, no. Pay attention. Keep it together. Where am I? Okay, yeah, almost there. Thank you so much, Sophia. Yes, 6.x or 6.0, I think, is we're going to drop it as. And uh, it's the preview. We're soft frozen at the moment. No new content's going to be added pending the completion of the Modathon, of course. Will be, no doubt, some fantastic content coming out of there. Alright. 
right off the bat, we're seeing a few amazing things here. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, Sector. All right, right off the bat, like, we got the, the magical orbs out here looking good. We've got the Wolverine Hall, also by Duo Dynamico, our friends, that got that design skill. All right, let's get up here. We shouldn't even be in the water. What are we doing? Also, my frame rate. Hey. Let's walk around this way. Love it. Manages to be amazing looking um, and still also very maze like. Retains that where the hell am I kind of vibe that the original Wolverine Hall had. Yeah, thank you, Sector. It's, um, you know, of course, the credit goes to countless individuals who do amazing work. Um, notably, right now, though. We're looking at uh, absence of a floating OAAB sapling. Props to Sophia on that for the for the plugin uh, and the work. And this is um, not only BCOM Sagerth Mora, but it's also our friend Detail Devils BCOM Sagerth Mora BCOM Plus pack. Um, with uh, we aren't enabling just everything. Um, if you've got like a you know a very modern GPU, you can enable everything. Probably not worry, but uh. It was a bit too much for my poor potato. And so in the interest of keeping things able to run on a Steam Deck, um, we've selected a, a slice of content from that. So thank you, props to Detail Devil and all the folks with content in there. <laughs> yeah, you sure do. <laughs> I'm jealous. I don't know if you can hear it, but that's some of the new Dunmer voices from Von Django's Quest Voice dialogue. Um, it sounds good. I don't know if you can hear it over the rain. I'm tempted to turn the voices off. Yeah, a certain painter that we all know and love. Don't look too hard at the shroom tops. Yeah, sure did. Oh wait, no, I can actually walk up there now. Will do, Altario. Uh, I'm gonna walk around this way. Man, it just looks great. So busy, so much light. I hope I'm thinking of the right bard, by the way, to do this one. Right? Hey, Fred. Keep pulling out my spell. This our guy? Since we're here. I got you. Yeah, we'll have to work that out, Sophia. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, friend. One day, I will finish my doom metal cover of this song with Lysol. It'll happen. Mm. Oh, I just love this. Yes. The glowing orb with the other glowing orb in the distance. Okay. 
We're just gonna walk in there real quick, take a look around, and then be on our merry way. Nice. So you're in the band, Erm? Is that what you're saying? Honestly, Ocarina would do well in a Doom Metal cover. Um, so, yeah. Am I playing with shield sheathing currently? Uh, no, I am not. I have it turned off because of the whole hold it conflict. Um, but when I play without wares and the hold it stuff, I do turn on. Yes, agreed, Erm. It's actually a stupid simple song. Basic time. Um, but it's surprisingly fun and it works well with a Doom Metal kind of a tone. Lysol wrote the tabs for that one. Oh, these crystals. Yeah, I just love them. Yeah, so Hold It used to use um, shields, like, to make people hold things, right? And when you have shield sheathing enabled, it would, like, put, like, baskets on people's backs and stuff. I don't know if it does that still. Um, we should test it. My time is precious, so make it nice. quick. Nice. Fun times. What do we got here? <clears throat> oh. Thank you, Eltariel. I really appreciate that. Okay. I didn't realize that's what was going on. Okay. Boom. Yeah, I mean... We gotta have this one, so cool. Um, no, I haven't. I uh, what I use is um, Muse Score, um, and it's pretty good. The UI is kind of puzzling, and like doing some things, like having multiple parts in a in a in a project is like stupid hard. Um, but uh, yeah, Lily Pond, I'll try that out. All right, we're water walking our way north here. Let's check the map. Yeah, Muse score is good. It's good. Yeah, the yeah the UI is just like oh, man. like if you want to add, for example, two guitar parts with tabs, have fun. It's doable, but uh, okay. Thank you, Erm. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, you're in the band. It's official. <laughs> I love the lit uh, Tovani Dorners. Just like in the cloudy fog. Looking great. Yeah. For what it is, right? Like, it's pretty good, but yeah. I'm located in USA. Midwest USA, my man. just saying yesterday how much I like a longer time scale. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I got that Midwestern thing going on, I guess. Okay. Oh, okay, right on. Yeah, Minnesota's awesome. Um, you know, Midwest is what it is, but here I am. If you ever in Chicago, look me up. Yeah, I love Colorado so much. So we're about to break land here in the Grazelands. And I gotta say, trackless Grazelands is the way to go. I mean, I just can't play it with the tracks anymore. Doing my uh, minimum setup, just good Morrowind, just vanilla. And it's like weird to have the tracks here. I don't like it, to be honest with you. I'm uh, not really a fan. Yeah, <laughs> MOMW meetup. Uh, yeah, well, okay, that's a great question. Um, 
when it becomes daytime or okay so let me ask you this gonzo because I, I assume we want to be in a specific scene right where we can see like the ambient occlusion and and how everything interacts so maybe when we get to a good interior scene i can like save it um and uh and we can change the order and yeah so we'll do the pepsi challenge okay yeah good call man once we get to voss i'll find a good interior with some stuff that's secluded and uh and we'll go from there Oh, oh, okay. Oh, um, <laughs> sorry, I'm derping, man. Yeah, send me the links, please. Cool, awesome. Test man in Lamut. That sounds fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, uh, I'm like maybe, I'm generally speaking, I'm like a 12-hour drive from Colorado. Um, maybe like a, a slightly longer train ride. But I've been there before and just love it. Oh. Where you at? This this swipe here with the animation planning. Whew. It's just, you know, the little things. Okay. Um, I need this. I'm gonna have to give myself a few more. Oh, yeah, Nebraska. Super boring. <laughs> the most boring, flat place. Yeah. No, the windmills, windmills are in Iowa. And some in Illinois, too, frankly. Nebraska, totally freaking boring. Oh, okay, right on. Cool. Another central time zone. Or cool, Ferris. Respect. Get a good look at the uh, ah. Oh no, nasty zombie Nixon. Look at that. <laughs> awesome. Okay, some very beautiful hackalo here by our friend Melchior Dark. <laughs> right on. I got you. Yeah, next time I'm in Europe. I will definitely look you guys up. We'll take a train. Because I got family in Greece. So. Okay. Let's go this way. Lots going on here, honestly. Lots of critters. Angry critters. That is in, in the dark, but it's glowing. Angry, angry critters and angry natives. Yeah, nice. They know how to party. Ooh, sweet robe. That's pretty awesome. I don't know what that's from, but I love it. All right, hold on. We need to know what that's from. This might be a mess. Yeah, it's uh, OAAB content. Psh. Awesome. I love it. Yeah, there's some fun stuff going on here for sure. Um, let's see here. There we go. We got some fun stuff going on. I think I'm a little too old for festivals anymore. Microtonal music festival. Tell me more. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh man, I hope we can get this one fixed soon. It's got to be something to do with how post processing interacts with particles, but you'll note the fire going away. Womp. Okay, don't look at that too much. Yeah, there you go. It's less, no less noticeable if I do this. Oh, more friends. Huh? Oh, you really are a friend. Hiya. Oh, come on, leave me alone. 
Can do. Oh, that's right, Sector. Yeah, you're a neighbor, too. Shoot, the meet up, meetup's got to happen now. Holy All right. I'm about to make it morning because I can't see anything. Make it 5 a.m. Give us that sunrise. I don't want to miss out on that. Ooh, I love the reeds. Love it. Our friends at the OAAB Grazelands Project doing the good work here. Oh, look, another thing that wants to kill me. Feel like I should be close. My bad. Ooh, look at that tower. You can barely see it. I'm just thinking to myself, do I really want some kind of a watch so I know what time it is. I don't know. I don't love UI. Oh, look. Hey. Hey, friendo. There is no escape. It's just a little bit sweeter, right? Like the connect. Finishing the, the hit. Whoa. So this might be a... Is this supposed to be that slow? This might be an animation blending bug, even. I feel like he's moving pretty slow. Oh, well, enough of that. Excuse me. Just look at that in the distance. Where are he? And then I think from here, we're going to try to connect into TR. We're going to signpost our boat back our, our way to Ebenhart and uh, go to Endothrin, as was suggested by Altario. Ooh, look at those lights. So nice. I love that hat. I want that guy's hat in real life. Just for when I'm mowing the lawn. Keep the twigs out of my hair. Struggle is real. Okay. We're gonna go into the tower, actually, and we're gonna do the Pepsi challenge in there, I think. Whoa, what's going on? Whoa! <laughs> I brought some friends into town. He's not summoning a guard, though, or a hound. Yeah, I'm gonna let you take care of that. Just the guards. Getting their butt kicked. Getting his butt kicked. Yeah, alright. I brought him into town. It's only fair. Die. 
Ah, uh, yeah. Well, so <clears throat> there was a suggestion from Abdu in our Discord channel the other day about uh, reordering depth of field, uh, ambient occlusion, and um, and other shaders, and uh, for a better effect from what we have now. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like that might be a bug with Ezzy's, um because he's supposed to summon like a bear or a dog or something too. Um, well, let's take a quick stroll into town here, but I'm going to go actually into an interior in the boss tower. Oh, look at that sunrise. Pretty, pretty good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're going to compare what we have now versus uh, Abdu's proposed change. We're going to do it live. Look at that. If only we could climb up there. So I might... Okay. You send me the... Gonzo, why don't you uh, shoot me the GIF links on Discord? And then I'm going to have to... Because I'm on a, playing the game on a completely different PC than I have Discord on right now. So it'll be a little bit... Uh, but I'll connect my browser and we'll take a look. Nice. All right. Lay it on me, Gonzo. I'm going to get a web browser ready. Thank you very much. In the meantime, whoops, keep that sword away. Let's, now that the sun is finally up, let's head towards uh, Telmora, shall we? Note that there's a couple of uh, cells that Zach's uh, dynamic distance doesn't quite cover, and we're gonna just update that one. You can see the, the house pot in the distance there. It's getting some of them, but not all of them. Should be as simple as telling his code to do this cell, but uh, we'll let him know about that. Oh, thought I got him. Great place to be in the morning, actually. Wow, just very... Honestly, it's what it looks like across the street from my house on a, a misty spring morning. Pretty good. Oh, <laughs> what? Still? You're kidding me. <laughs> That's too funny. Uh, all right, let's get up on the dock here and then I'm gonna jump into the water. All right, let's do what we do. Also, if this isn't a, if this isn't a reason to use a dev build, I don't know what is. Looking pretty good. Ooh. Gotta go into first person for this. Care to see the sight? I, uh, Where nice can I hat. <laughs> That's pretty good. Old ways are the best way. Oh, hello. Too many travelers forget their memories. Indeed. Oh, boy. 
boy. There we go. Totally. It really does, right? It's not like the technical limitation fog that we got back in the day. This is like actually atmospheric fog. It's raining, you know. It's beautiful, frankly. You can just barely kind of see over there in the distance, you know. It's just... Zester nailed it completely. Hey, you. Speak quickly, Outlander, or go away. It's actually over there. Kind of not even mad that it's raining because we got the fog. That's another rad hat. Talk with you? Something tells me I might regret it. Possibly, friend. <laughs> All right. Whoa, this is nice. Outlander or go away. The second one. Right. Is this a TR track? I can't see. Hmm. I'm actually digging it though. Now, what did I do to deserve this honor? It's me. <clears throat> Don't disturb the mage lords unless you're on very important business. Right oh. Well, I have a boat I need to catch anyways, so let's go do that. Ooh, How do I, I know hold you're on. I like this shelf else. here, though. That's cool. I never noticed that before. And we get some pretty nice books here, too, if I gotta say. And I think this is a new 6.0 edition. Alright. I said there would be parkour. I wasn't kidding. Here we go. Come rain or storm, I'm ready to sail if you've got the Yeah, that's right, she's talking while the dialogue menu's up. One of the reasons why I like using UI modes. We let time pass, you know, when the dialogue is up, but when I'm in the inventory, it's a little too crazy. Just a little too crazy. Okay. Um, there, I suppose.
and this would be the result of a 6.0 edition. Yes, Altariel, definitely. Um, when that drops, we will publish a point release probably at a 5.10. Um, maybe it'll be a 5.11. Absolutely we will, though. That's worth an update for sure. Good call out. Thank you for mentioning that. Yeah, yeah. I love it when they walk up to me and tell me how they don't have time to talk to me. Thank you, friend. Right, there's another boat I need to get here somewhere. I actually don't know where the TR boat is. Don't tell me. We'll find it. So the question is then, do we go to Tane or do we go to Old Avenue? I think Tane is a is over here, if I'm not mistaken, right? So I think that's where we want to go, right? We're doing it live. Here we go. Go in there. I remember playing uh, Old Evan Hart there. Oh, okay, boat there. Okay, I remember playing multiplayer and. Long ago. Someday we'll get there again. If you're here for small talk, move along. There's someone watching. I can tell. There we go. Will be the starting point of our Boy, TR tour. I'm waiting. Right? Ooh. Good morning. Right? Yeah, perfect. Wow, cool. Cool outfit. Looking good. Morning, beautiful as it is, is one of the more rough times for shadows. Might be contributing to my little chuggy frame rate here. This is, ooh, wow, nice. This is definitely my first stroll through here in a while. Maybe even my first ever, ever like, actual stroll through here, and not just, like, a flyby getting good scenes. Very misty morning. I bet you it's going to rain. Look at that. Oh, wait, hold on. Weather, particle, occlusion. That's another dev build only feature. Um, that will be on, I think, 6.0 as well. I put it on the list, and it, there's no mod to install really. It's just a configuration change. You gotta change some fallback values to make the rain a little bit wider. And yeah, you can see no rain under this uh, overhang. Finally. Let's go up here. This is a great city. Um, just loving it. Yeah, you do. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. You could probably even have a hacky way of, like, drawing where the player is. Um, Erm could comment on that. Obviously, it wouldn't be... It would be a static, like, kind of like we talked about in the Lua channel yesterday. You know, it would be not compatible with anything that changes the map. But, yeah, you don't see why you couldn't. Hey, you. Yeah. 
I don't know if I still have mine, sadly, but, uh... Ooh, Gonzo. Do I smell a mod? Are you doing this? You should. Wow. Not even mad that it's raining. And honestly, the TR soundtrack works so well here. I'm, like, shocked at how good the sound is. The music, I mean, it's just... I love it. I would and yeah, I really love this guard armor. Wow. This is the first time I've seen this. This is really outstanding. What is that even from? Wow, okay. Yeah, this is... Psh, Canyon Watch. Cool. This, these are assets from TR, actually, that I just haven't seen. Wow. Nice. Awesome. Just particularly awesome. And, uh, you know, everybody loves waterfalls. Um, that, I need to run AFK for just a moment. Um, yeah, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, Eltario. Thank you. Um, I will be right back. Talk amongst yourselves. Enjoy the beauty of the game. Here we go. Welcome back. Fun fact, once upon a time, there was an ind individual who made a Lua mod that was focused on Crassius Curio. True story. All right, where are we going here? So, you know, I think we want to basically head south and kind of, like, get into here, yeah? Maybe over here a little bit. Through us all, my friend. Cool. Thank you, Altario. Appreciate it. Our tour guide, our TR tour guide. Ashlines, yeah, yeah. Not too sightly, yeah. We'll stay in the beautiful area of uh, this region here, uh, Anthurin region. Growth Roaring region. Escadian Bluffs region. Let's get the cameraman back on. Glass Joe, welcome to the picture. Bluff Roaring. We got the log output on my other screen here. So I'm just like seeing three regions load at once. Okay. I have 
tempted to make it sunny, but we'll leave it for now. Hmm, they don't activate at all. It's my first test of the signpost mod in this region. <laughs> Not working. Hold on. Just for my morbid curiosity. Oh, interesting. All right. Yeah. We will have to hack on it later. See with three lights in the shrine. Hmm. I think I know what you're talking about. I think it's south on this river. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, so we gotta get there for sure. Because I gotta see this. Hmm. All right. Please, Todd, make the sunshine. Not enough rain. <clears throat> I was trying to think of an item, by the way. <laughs> if you ever played the Minecraft mod Batania, there was an item where you could like feed it sunflowers to make the sun the rain stop. We need something like that. <sighs> ah, them clouds. Huh? Wow. That's what you want to see. So sad. No activate. <clears throat> Let's pull the trusty map here. Yeah, I think we actually want to go this way. Are you kidding me? Uh. <laughs> oh, crikey. All right. Um, did we change regions, Eltariel? Am I still in Rothrawin? I'm going to throw this out there. Please, Todd, please. Okay, well, as we said, right, this is, this is where we are. Let's go take a quick look at the, this place over here. Ooh, yeah, definitely. That's a good, Sophia, we're going to have to do just another stream where we go there frankly because there's uh, quite a lot of good stuff to see there and with your monster graphics card won't break a sweat This up here, this is a nice little. Let's get a view. Shh. 
Shame. Right, yeah. Actually, that's a good call out, Koyano. It's rather peaceful so far. Critter spawns are not too plentiful. Hello, friend. Be quick about this, or find someone else to talk to. Well. Haha. <laughs> you gotta check it, Gonzo. It's Skyrim Morrowindified. The team did a great job, in my opinion. And there's just so much. Like Tamar we built, there's just so much there. It's wild. All right. What can I say? Cool. Good feedback, yeah. Shoot, Erm, can we do your um your spawn duplicating Lua mod that you had for multiplayer? Can we do that yet? I feel like we need that. Can you, you can spawn. No, you can't spawn creatures with Lua yet, I don't think. What was that one called? Double Trouble. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, so right. Good call out, Sophia. It can be a balance, right? Like, you don't want it to be too boring, but you also don't want to be too busy. Like, oh, look, another rat. Wow, this is a great... Like, just... That's where we're going. You ready? Let's take a quick look at the map. So, yeah, we want to try and, like, somehow get over here, I think, and see what's over here. City Sophia mentioned is, I want to say over here, we'll see it when we see it, right? We'll stick to this side of the shore for now, though. Ripple, yes. <laughs> yeah, totally, totally. Agreed. Loving the critters, you know? And, uh, and so the critters are there, right, Kuyando? There's quite a few critters, but they're not all, like... Foaming at the mouth to, you know, bite me. The great thing about having not really played TR a whole lot is, like, it's literally a new game to ju just dive into. You know, this is really... I've been here flying over it, but like playing here, unfamiliar to me. Wow. I love it. Run, don't walk. Ground cover is really nice. There's something flying around over there. Bug. Probably wants to bite me. Something in the mountain there, too. That's great design, right? I want to go up there now, frankly. We're going up there. That I have got to see. Hmm. We'll see if there's a road. Gonzo, be well. Ooh, nice cave here. One thing I would like to see, speaking of Skyrim, I wouldn't mind seeing like a walk into the cave mod, right? Like, I don't know if it's totally doable in a, in a non-hacky way, but eventually I'd like to see that. Oh, hey. Yeah. Maybe we can bug Ramiros. Seemed like last time they were pretty quick, you know, to get the update out, so... Or some other dedicated soul. 
Speaking of dedicated soul. I think, honestly, no combat music is gonna how I'm gonna play this game going forward. Until we get Nobuo Umatsu to make combat music for the game. Alright, so here we are. We're up on that thing, and the view is as good as I was hoping. Look at that. You can see old Ebonheart from here. Floating tower and all. <laughs> good stuff. The view gets better. We're getting... We're gonna go higher. Towards your land. Okay. Oh. Okay. So, that's a thing. Oh, okay, Sophia. Thank you. I will, um... I'll give those a try. It's been a while. Visitors aren't good. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't been here yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and kill these guys. Accidental stop on the tour. Looks like some old uh, architecture. Ruins here, of course. I'm mostly in it for the view. Yeah, is that our city? I think that's our city over there, by the way. Yeah? Ah, this stupid hair. Yeah, I think that's our city. That's where I'm going, at least. We can actually see quite a bit going on there, too. Right? We got some Daedric Ruins. Yeah, right? This is great. Just, uh... <laughs> don't look too hard at that floating. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Wowee. And the sky just... It just... Alright. Moving on. Let's get up to the top here, huh? I don't think we're going to go inside, but this seems like a fun place. Clan fear that talked to you? I mean, obviously the uh, not pausing the game when the dialogue popped up was a problem there. Um, so far in Vanilla Morrowind, it hasn't been too much of a problem, but obviously right there it is. Wow, look at all this. Oh. Oh. It's like a scamp party. Don't mind me, please. Please don't mind me. All right. All right, we got to head back down. We got places to go, people to see. But uh, on your own TR adventures, you want to come towards your land. Oh, really? Huh? Okay, before we leave, let's say hi. Nailed it. We are tourists, in fact. Fair enough. Ooh, and actually, since I'm back here, I really like this, um, the rock around this pool. That's really great. <laughs> All right. Yeah. A tourist. Yeah. That's a familiar line. I love it. Good stuff. That was worth coming back for, for sure. Ominous music, too, I think fits the scene pretty well. Scamp hot tub. <laughs> it is. It is a hot tub. <clears throat> Alright. I'm pretty... Whoops. I'm pretty tempted. Because we're up this high. But I feel like this would kill me without slow fall. But we got God Mode on. All right. Here we go. I mean, if you don't do this, are you even really playing Morrowind right? Yeah. 
there it is. That's where we're heading. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and since it's only afternoon, when we get there I'll probably make it evening so we can see the lights. But until then we'll keep it daytime. Because I'm rather liking the sky and everything. The sun. Weather actually cooperating with us. It's a miracle. None of the signposts activate. I'm disappointed. That's a sweet banner. The green. I just like it. Okay, cool, cool. I was wondering what kind of stuff we're gonna see uh, have a have a you know a facelift. I always like this little corridor here. Actually, I think I've done this exact shot in a few of my uh, actual total overhaul tour videos in the past. I'm waiting. Stay out of trouble and you won't get hurt. Well, okay then. So I don't know, is this the right city Sophia was talking about with the lights at night? Um, I don't actually know. Um, but I feel like we want to make it nighttime There's right now, watching. so let's do it. I can tell. There we go. I'm waiting. The magical sunset shot hour. Near the temple. Okay, so we gotta go. So to get there, we gotta go east more, right? Right. <laughs> I do imagine that, Ferris. Actually, I have. <laughs> Especially if you've lived in a big city, it's probably like, wow. Yeah, just imagine. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go on a hunch that we wanna walk over this way some. Oh, okay, right. Uh, so we left there, basically. That is the place. Well, <laughs> I'm going to keep walking this way, and then maybe before um, before we close the tour off for the day, we'll go back there and check it at nighttime. Whoop. Music stays consistently good. Love this soundtrack.
parkour time, eh? That's how we do it on the tour. And even then, okay. Well, only one thing to do. Use magic. the right way to get in here, actually. Jumping. That's the right way. Gonna make it daytime again. <laughs> oh man, that would make for a very interesting stream. I would watch that. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I forgot about Mega 64. Yikes. That's some funny stuff. I'm liking this scene, and the mist is really tying it together. Something about a misty morning. I can't get enough of it. I don't even know where I am. You don't look like one of the slavers. Will you let us go free? Later. <laughs> right, you were mentioning the, um, the voice acting in that game. I never played it, but I almost want to just for that fact. A little overgrown over here. It's fine with me. Go ahead. Thank you. I'm listening. Get a haircut. Travel myself back to Andothrin. We're gonna get ourselves a nighttime shot. Hey, 
Hey, I remember you. city at nighttime, honestly. Here we go, three lights. Is that what you were talking about? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I've never seen this before. Pretty good. Wow. Cool. Whoop. My poor graphics card. You can do it, buddy. As we face towards old Ebonheart a little bit. Yeah, right? Yeah. Probably mine right now, too, honestly. <laughs> wow. Okay, well. We didn't really get to see, uh, you know, a lot of vanilla content, but we did walk basically from one end of Ardenfell to the other, all the way to the top. Um, we walked all over TR. Let's pull up the map real quick. Yeah, I mean, we basically walked this entire way all the way up here. Came down here, walked all the way there. We did quite a bit of walking today. <laughs> quite the tour. Um, gonna actually save this here. And I think this is where we're gonna leave it for today. And I just wanna thank you for joining. Happy modding, have a lovely day, and we'll see you in the next stream next weekend. Cheers, everybody. <laughs>